Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a healthy holiday season and safe holiday season. It is not quite the new year yet for me. I know this will be live on Wednesday, so it'll be the new year by then, but right now it is Saturday the 30th. We got off work early today. We closed early for the New Year's weekend, and then I dropped my parents off at the train station. <laughs> they left, and they are probably landing like right now as I'm recording this in Florida. So it was so, so special to have them in town for the whole week, and I already miss them. There's just nothing like having your parents in the same state as you, let alone like the same city or area as you. And yeah, I miss them. I miss like my mom's cooking. I miss just doing nothing with my parents. Like I'm very close with them. As you guys can see, I wish, I so wish they could live here in New York. I so wish Jack's parents could live here in New York and we could, you know, visit everyone and do all of that. But you know, life, it's funny to think about my mom actually did the same thing with my dad. My mom, well, my dad got a job in Miami when I was three. And so my mom moved, but my whole family or my mom's whole family, I guess my family's too, obviously, but our whole family was still in New York. And so it was really only us three living in Florida. And she was doing the whole, like going to visit New York every summer we'd be there or my grandparents would be coming to visit them in Florida. And so I don't know, it's just, I guess right now I'm just feeling a little emotional because they, because they left. And I just, I love, I love having them here. My mom spoiled us all week with all of her Italian cooking. I know you guys saw a lot of it at my aunt's house, which is what she made. But my mom, like she always loves to like cook a bunch of things, leave it in the fridge for us. And so she made us chicken parm, eggplant parm, lentils, beef stew. She made uh, like a healthier version of fettuccine alfredo. It's with like cream of mushroom versus like a bunch of like uh, Parmesan and all that other stuff in there. So I'll have to show you guys the recipe if you're interested. It's, it's actually very good. It has broccoli in it too. Um, aside from that, my fridge is super stocked. Oakley was also very spoiled this week. My little baby right here. She's been so sweet. She's been spending some quality time with her grandma and not so much her grandpa because my dad thinks she's annoying sometimes with her bark, but it's okay. I know I'm biased, but I seriously think I have the cutest dog in the whole dang world. Okay, that's enough of her. I'll let her sit over there in the corner. I was actually trying to vlog earlier, but sometimes it's just distracting when I'm trying to record and she's just in the corner barking away. Okay, last thing, going back to my parents real quick because I pre-recorded this earlier in the week. I said I was gonna stop vlogging until my parents left because I wanted to just spend some time, but I really wanted to record this one little chunk because I wanna share this with you guys. It's gonna be like a little continuation of this process in vlogs to come. I'm so, so pumped for my mom. Okay. I don't wanna ruin it, let me just play it. I am so excited for today because my mom is coming in to Jane Mark. She is going to redesign her engagement ring. She has not worn this thing in years. I mean, she wore it in the last YouTube clip for like a second when we redid our nails together because I literally forced her to, but I convinced her to make an appointment with my boss, James. We're gonna redesign the whole thing. She has a marquee shaped diamond and she just wants a new setting. She wants to revamp it. She wants it to be meaningful and special. And I just really wanna see her wearing it again, especially for my wedding next year. Or so we're almost in 2024. So I'm gonna say next year for our wedding next year. And yeah, I don't know what she's gonna do yet. She's gonna look around, get some inspo and literally custom design the whole thing. So I thought it'd be really fun to bring you guys along for this process. I don't know if you'll see the end result in this vlog, but we're gonna start it here. I'm gonna show you guys what we're thinking. We're taking this and we're gonna do something new. So come along for the process. So looking around the showroom, my mom saw this ring and absolutely loved it. She's obsessed with the sparkle. This one features a round cut center diamond and a pear shaped mountain. Her diamond is a different shape than the one in the store, so James is measuring it and drawing a couple of designs that'll work with her marquee. From there, he's using a CAD software to 3D build the ring. Here's a better look at what the ring will eventually look like. He also custom designed a wedding band for her, which I love because it complements the pear shape. And then about five hours later, he 3D print the ring in my mom's size so she could try it on. Oh my God. And make sure it's exactly what she wants. So this is the mold that my mom got to try on. They built two of them. They as in James. And if it's are perfect, put it on. You love it? Love it, love it. You ready for the real thing? I know. She doesn't want me to show this. She wants me to show the real one. I said you could take this home to Florida. James brought out the wine. Johnny's already drinking. 
Cheers. Salute. Sorry, Johnny. Salute. Oh, Johnny. So that was a very fun bring your parents to work moment. Of course, James whipped out the wine after, you know, to celebrate and my dad being my dad, holding up the parrot ring and everything. But I'm just so excited for my mom. I just think this is going to be so stinking special. I love that it's keeping true to her original engagement ring with the original diamond and then just like adding new and just going for what she wants now, you know, like 20 plus years later. This is gonna be really fun for her. I can't wait to see it come to life. I know I'm going to be recording the process of like us making it and then like me giving it to her. I'm gonna give it to her in February when I go to Florida. We're not gonna ship it there because I do wanna see, I wanna see her facial expression and like, my mom's like, look, I haven't been wearing it in so long. Like what's a couple more months to wait? So yeah, I am gonna bring it up there. I probably will vlog it. So that's what I'm saying. Like this will probably be a couple more like vlogs to go. I don't think my mom truly does not keep up with my YouTube vlogs. Not that she doesn't care. She's just really not a technology person. Like she is just not the person that's sitting on, like gonna click on YouTube and like type my name in and like get the video. And I know she subscribed. I don't even know if she has a YouTube account to subscribe to me. My mom, I don't even think my own mom subscribes to me. This is, this is bad. Mom, you need to subscribe to me. But anyways, I'm gonna show it on here. I don't think she'll see it because <laughs> Like again, I just don't think she's gonna ever click on the video. It'll obviously end up being like a small part of a video incorporated into another vlog or whatever it may be, but I am probably not gonna show her until February. I think that's what I wanna do. I don't know, if she asks, I guess I'll show her. I'm like thinking through this as I vlog this, so bear with me, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I like surprise it to her? Should I show her pictures as we go? I mean, like she picked the diamond, she saw the 3D rendering, so she knows what it's gonna look like, but. She doesn't want to know what it's going to look like. She doesn't know the shine it's going to have in person until she obviously gets it in person. Other than my excitement for my mom, it's about eight o'clock. I am waiting for Jack to get home. He went on a hunting trip with some of his coworkers. He is trying to get back into that hobby here in the Hudson Valley. It's a great place to do it. So him and two, two of his coworkers and then their sister went up to upstate New York, like four hours away. So they're like four hours north. Jack said it was snowing. So there's that. And he is currently on his way home. He has about three and a half hours left. I am probably gonna crash before he gets home. I am honestly just so, I know this is bad to say, but this I'm just so tired from the, from the holiday season. Like the one day off I did get, which was Christmas day. I was, you know, driving to my aunt's house a couple hours away in the city. And I'm so grateful to have a place to go and to spend it with family this year because that was not always my Christmas, you know, in years past with, at working as a TV news reporter. And so to just like be off completely that day and to go, you know, celebrate with loved ones, that was truly everything. But it was still tiring to like get in a car, drive, you know, eat like how I normally wouldn't eat, be so stuffed, then coming home, waking up the next morning and then going straight to work and then still having my parents here. And, you know, it's just kind of been nonstop because I had that like long stretch where I only had one day off and then we worked seven, seven days straight, one day off. And then we did a full week and now we're here today. And so it was nice because we got off early today. Then I'm off tomorrow, Sunday, and then off Monday. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm doing anything crazy. Like, I don't think we're going to do anything crazy for New Year's. I... I'm perfectly fine with staying home, maybe making an April spritz. Like we we bought a couple things when my parents were here to just do some holiday drinks. And so, yeah, I Jack texted me earlier today. He's like, do you want to just like hang home and like not do anything? Because we were contemplating the idea of going to my cousin's house in Long Island and just spend it with more family. And I would love to do that, but I just don't want to drive two and a half hours right now. I, I, I just... I just want to stay home, you know, <laughs> like I don't want to go out. I could, I could honestly sleep through the new year and be a okay. Like I could just go to bed, wake up and oh, 2024, there it is. And so we might literally do that because I know tomorrow we're waking up, we're going to the gym, we're getting back on track. I want to start off, you know, this, this weekend, this new year strong. I want to get back to, you know, my normal self. Like I love eating, you know, all my holiday favorites and, you know, splurging and indulging and doing all that. But you do have to like reel yourself in. At least I personally do. And I know Jack's on the same page as I am. And so we are trying to kind of get back to routine, but it's tough now because like I said, we have so much food that my mom left us. Like, okay, I normally would not eat eggplant parm because my mom fries the eggplant. I told my mom, I'm like, mom, just put the eggplant in the oven so it's a little healthier. We'll have the sauce, the mozzarella, we'll have everything. Now, what does she do? She goes, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I fried it. And so, I mean, it's amazing. And I love my mother's cooking and I'm so grateful for her. 
but I'm like, man, now we have like a whole week of food that we still wouldn't normally eat. So trying to get through that, but the lentils are pretty healthy. And that's really the only, only other healthy thing she made because the, the fettuccine Alfredo we already ate. So anyways, all right, I'll stop rambling about my food and what's in the kitchen and what I'm eating for the week and what Jack's eating for the week. But yeah, we're going to wake up. We're going to have a strong morning. We're going to get to the gym and yeah, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, I'm like catching my breath before I vlog, but you can tell just how much that workout raises your heartbeat. It's a great hit workout and it only involves three dumbbells, you know, two to do the um, RDLs and then one for your snatch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm like disgusting right now. So yeah, I thought I'd share a quick, easy workout. I know like I have personally been trying to figure out some more workouts to do that are like hit style that resemble what I used to do at Burn Boot Camp in my own gym when I'm not going to like a group fitness class and like ways to challenge myself. So I've been like scrolling through TikTok, scrolling through like, you know, all those influencers and health people who do this for a living. I'm definitely not that, but I've been trying to like pull from what I see and what I like and things that I did in burn boot camp, like things that I know worked for my personal body and my personal like health and fitness goals. And so I put together that little hit workout. Here it is on a screenshot again, just so you can see what I'm talking about. I just did it all for you guys. But really, again, all you need is three dumbbells and a stopwatch. I used my watch in term, like when I was filming, but usually I just use the timer on my iPhone and I just reset it for 30 seconds, like every single time, like in between um, each strength move. So I love combining strength and cardio together because I just hate running. I despise it. It's not my thing. It's never been my thing. I would love... I would love to love it, but I just don't. I've never personally felt that runner's high, and I'm so jealous of everyone who has, and I'm jealous of people who really enjoy it because I know it's a great, easy, free workout, right? But yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. So here I am trying to be back. I feel like my phone is shaking. I'm so sorry if this is like shaky. I'm just literally post-workout, but there's a park right next to our gym and Jack decided to actually run. So I dropped him off and then I went and did my HIIT workout and now I'm going to pick him up and I think I might just walk a lap outside. It's like 40 degrees out and I think it'll be, I just, I just want to slow my heart rate down a little bit. So I'm just going to go walk a lap with him and then we're going to carry on with our day. There he is. This is how New Year's Eve is going. Jack is smelling his wine. Tell him what you're smelling. Uh, I'm getting wine. <laughs> oak? You were saying I'm getting oak? I'm getting this? Oak. I can't with him. Mm. Yeah, we're staying in and eating pizza and drinking wine and calling it a New Year's Eve night. It's 11.46, almost midnight. I am still up. I truly thought we were gonna sleep through new year's but it was really funny jack and i were like so bored and i was like how funny would it be if i post a picture of us from new york city like when we got engaged we took a picture like kissing in times square i was like what if i post this and be like happy new year from new york city and so i did that on my story and then like immediately followed it with another <laughs> picture of us like with our wine and like showing the tv behind us like literally this setup like oh well, just kidding but it is so funny because so many people like hearted it and loved it and they truly think we're in new york city right now and people are like messaging me like you're so brave all this stuff and it just goes to show people don't click to the second slide okay so your first slide better be the good one look tomorrow this is all that matters roll tide I didn't even see. 
beat Michigan. <laughs> we're actually hosting tomorrow. Um, we're having some of Jack's coworkers slash friends come over for the Bama game. So that is what we're gonna do on our so New Year's game. Day. We also just what tell them what you bought today while we were sitting. <laughs> We've had a very expensive night and it was not, a, we purposely didn't go out to save money. And then here's what Jack did. I may or may have not bought Green Day tickets. <laughs> and then we listened to Green Day. And we watched Bullet in a Bible, the concert. So if you're a follower and you know what the Bullet in a Bible concert is, then you're probably like, well, duh. Like, why wouldn't you get tickets to Green Day? But they're in Queens so, and they're playing at City Field, and I've got tickets to do the. Uh, so we're going to Green Day concert in Queens in August. Yeah. And we spent almost four hundred dollars on these tickets. So that's good. Most people are paying like I, I got the cheapest tickets. <laughs> let me tell you, I could have easily. We got the paid, worst ones. And it was I could have <laughs> easily maxed out my credit card and gotten backstage passes, but I did not. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's enough for now. We're we're done giving Jack the vlog, though I think he's more chatty. We're done giving Jack the vlog. Happy New Year, y'all. Hi guys, happy officially New Year's Day. It is January 1st and today's beautiful out here in New York. It is so sunny, so pretty out. The weather is great. I'm not even wearing a coat, love it. Love the start to this new year. We did a bunch of chores this morning, like things that, you know, it's like new year, we're going to get really in the thick of it. So like I took all the couch pillows off and vacuumed my couch and we did like so many loads of laundry, like not, we always do laundry, but you know what I mean? We did a lot of like the little things and then we're gonna take down all of our Christmas decorations this year. Jack is very excited that I will be helping him this year, unlike last year, tell him the story. I think you had work, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, last year, um, her and my roommate, my good friend, uh, Chun. Chun, you've met him. We were roommates last year, and I was still doing distance with her. And Chun was like, we gotta put up a Christmas tree. And I was like, we're not gonna, why? You know, like, does it matter? And she was like, yeah, put up a Christmas tree. And then we had to put one up at her place. Yeah, put up a Christmas tree, even though, again, we're not gonna be there for Christmas, and I'm a bit of a Grinch. But I was totally like, a Grinch. And I, was, I mean, I like Christmas, don't get me wrong, but also. Anyways, uh, I was saying, I'm going to end up taking both of these down. Just like, <laughs> y'all are going to, like, I'm going to end up taking both of these down, and I hate taking Christmas trees down. Uh, so, sure enough, Chun's gone, and the house needs to be cleaned for, I don't remember what. But, just uh, because it needs to be clean, well, that's why. It needs why. to be clean, but I, just, I don't remember why it was so urgent that we took his Christmas tree down because it stayed up a while and so did uh, Jenna's and Jenna was at work so I took hers down by myself Chun was I think conducting a concert or something at the time so I took his down by myself and it was kind of like and I told you so because he didn't want to put any of the trees up so this year I will be helping him and we're gonna get all that done and then we're gonna have story yeah, that was kind of, uh, it was still, it was, it was funnier when he told me originally, but I'm still going to include it in the vlog. And so, yeah, we're going to do all that. And then, um, we are making like a buffalo chicken dip tonight and Jack is doing some deer sliders. So we are having a couple friends over for the Bama game. Jack's already wearing his favorite Alabama shirt and yeah, that'll be that. Right now we're going to do a couple like errands grocery wise and just stock up the fridge, get the, um, get what we need for the week and then yeah gonna get on with our day guys the christmas decor is officially out got our setup back to what it is the normal setup with my ladder here now it's so empty and bare i still need to figure out what to put here i almost want to put another drum there or something because i've been using jack's what are those called congas congas, congas in the corner I just love this view. It's so pretty. It just looks so dreamy and like unreal. Look at this. We're just going to paradise, AKA our rock in the back. Every time I go here, Oakley just thinks she's about to go run. Now I feel bad. All right, Oakley, go ahead, go run. Look how fast she runs, ready? Boom, gone, see ya. I ended up fitting all of our Christmas decor in this box that I used to put all my shoes in like when I was moving. So that was really nice. Threw out some ornaments. 
And then that's the Christmas tree. This didn't fit, so it's gonna go there. I really wanna go to Macy's or somewhere like Target and go shop the deals for next year. I'm thinking, I was talking to Jack about it. I was like, we should just go and see if we can pick up like any cute ornaments for like super sale. My mom says like in the new year, so like starting today, she thinks that like all of it goes like 70% off. So I'm hoping that's right, cause then we'll get a real bargain. And so I want a more elevated tree next year. I was looking at our little, little tiny um, ornaments and I was like, that is not it for next year. So I kept most of them, but throughout the, the really, really small ones that like, I feel like those belong on like one of those like two foot, three foot trees that you put in like a classroom or something like that. So we parted ways with those. And I think we're going to do that tomorrow because now we're getting ready to have some friends over. So I'm going to make a buffalo chicken dip. We ended up taking the lazy route and just got a rotisserie chicken. I already shredded it. And we're making Oakley's food right here. Yes, some days we meal prep for <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> this is what I found in the corner. What are you doing? Why do you, <laughs> awful. So our next project, check this out. We have so much crap in our dungeon. Why are you wearing this still? You look like a murderer, <laughs> Jack. I'm a murderer. <laughs> God, but I'm all not a murderer. It... just for the record, I'm not a murderer. Yes, we know. Uh, all right, I'm about to flip you around. This is currently my man cave. It's not really a man cave. We're just joking, and there's it's not really. It's very short, so I can't really stand all the way up in here unless I'm directly under the archway. But um, yeah. So most of this is just our stuff scattered. Some things that we never really finished unpacking and don't want to unpack here until we move into a bigger space. Like lots of hangers, picture frames that we're not hanging. RIP Titans, you've had an awful season. Um, and then like drums, you know, that we're not going to bring out. Um, you know, random percussion stuff, tambourine, steel pan. Stuff that we don't necessarily have a lot of room for, but we can make this room kind of more organized for sure and then obviously i just got a bunch of hunting stuff from my dad from it's it's mostly my stuff that was in storage over there and now it's being used over here it is so you can't even walk in there and it's already when she, like <laughs> when she got the apartment she was like, <laughs> it's like no you'll be able to like set up and hang in there it's I did. Like, that's how i sold it to him because i was like you could put your drums in there like you can have a hang session like the boys can go yeah, in even, like, the dungeon wait wait hold on when you walk in here like above the door watch your head and <laughs> look at this his feet are on the floor i cannot so that will be our project here in january of 2024 i'm hoping we can do this before our friends come over all right this actually looks pretty good so all i did was shred two cups of chicken added in some cream cheese some frank's red hot and then a half a cup of ranch dressing and then i'm gonna top it when it's done with some green onions but i say this is a win it's very Football, very on brand to watch Bama. And then I'm gonna also pair it with some Tostitos chips. Tostados, oh my goodness. Okay, here to report that Jack is well. He has calmed down from the game. It is the next day. We did a whole cycling workout. Are you are you good? Yeah, I'm at peace. <laughs> um, I wasn't during the game, and then like obviously like moments after. But um, you know, uh, Coach Saban said it best. He said he's real proud of how this team uh, ended their season compared to where they started. And I think that there's a lot of potential and unfinished business, uh, to quote Terry and Arnold and, um, you know, roll tide still. So spoken like a true athlete and a yeah. true fan yeah. roll tide. We'll see him next year. <laughs> All right. That's how this one's ending. I am super pumped for tomorrow. I am going wedding dress shopping. I will see what I'm sharing on that next vlog, but thank you all for the support. I hope you guys had a happy and healthy new year. I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye. Thank you.